Gradients are awesome. Gradients are the slow transition from one color to another. You can even utilize gradients to create a 3D effect by emulating shadows and highlights. When you combine more than two colors in a gradient, you can create gradients that almost look like realistic metals, gold, silvers, and coppers. A color transition is a simple two color gradient that slowly transitions across a given area. So take for instance this photo, a nicely edited final photo, but when we add a simple color transition here, using a two color gradient, it has a wonderful, more rich appearance. Applying a complex, rich gradient with multiple colors of highlights and lowlights can create this wonderful gold effect. Applying gradient effects to typography can really help make a headline pop off the page, much better than a flat single color headline would. Later in this class, I'll get to show you how to create these gradients and color transitions on both text and photos in Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Duotones are powerful in the world of design. Duotones are easily applied to photos using Adobe Photoshop. Duo comes from the Greek word two, meaning there's two different inks that are applied to a given image in a duotone image. Monotones are similar to duotones, but they only use one ink color. We mostly think of monotones as a black and white image, but we can use just a single blue ink in this example, and it can provide a much more compelling photo. You can also apply brighter, more bold colors to give your photo a desired effect. Since duotones use two ink colors, you can have a darker color and a lighter color, and that adds a wonderful contrast to your photos. Later in this class, I'll show you how I took that ordinary photo and applied that rich duotone using Adobe Photoshop. One of the easiest ways to radically change an image is to mess with its blending mode. A blending mode is a transparency setting that allows images behind it to show up in different ways. You can adjust what's called the transparency on a photo, and it'll adjust how much is visible in a given layer. This is easily done by adjusting the transparency option in your layers panel. But blending modes act very similar, but they allow for more variety in what shows up behind the photo. You can apply these blending modes to text to have bits of one character show through over another to create this neat overlapping effect. Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign all have options to adjust the layer's blending mode option, so learning these blending modes is essential for emulating a wide variety of effects. There are many blending mode options available to you, and I suggest playing around with different blending mode options to see how they affect your photos and layers. Fortunately, there's only a small handful of blending modes that I really use, so you don't need to master them all, but it's nice to have go-to options that seem to always have the right effect. As a designer, there are many options available to you to enhance your photos and designs, especially with color, and these are just a few of the many tools you'll learn throughout this class.